Christine Benedict with Coldwell Banker with Beck Associates. Um, please bear with me. You are my first video uh, during these trying times. Today I am going to, in a few segment videos, provide you with the information in regards to 39 Blockhouse Road in Essex, New York. This is a unique property that consists of a very large home that also includes a studio apartment and behind me is a cottage. Um, all these properties are year round. It is situated on 5.74 acres. You are located about a mile and a half from the Essex Ferry. And let's get started and I'll show you around. Thanks. The cottage on the property, this is a year round um, home. And let's go inside. I'll try and not make you seasick as you're looking at this. There is a crawl space located underneath the home. As I said, this is a year round property. Let's go in the front door. All right, I will try and go slow. When you enter, you can see that there's um, a double door here that is blocked by a cabinet that they utilize. It is a small kitchen. But the one thing that I will say about all these properties is the craftsmanship is remarkable. The gentleman that built this home and lives here now um, likes to take barns down and utilize them as the framework for the property. He, I can't say it enough times, he is a definite master craftsman. I'm gonna move here. Right off the kitchen is a full bath with a tub. As I pan backwards, there is a sitting area, living room, that goes back into an alcove here. I'm gonna pan around. We'll walk back there in a moment. That goes back to the bedroom. One of the bedrooms, there are two bedrooms. That door behind the wood stove is just a closet area since there's no basement, there's no stairs. Um, hardwood floors, little sitting nook, and here I'll go up first. You'll notice in, this, in all these properties, Steve, the gentleman that built all these and still lives here, likes to do these gradually turning stairs going up. You will see that there is one bedroom here. And back towards the stairs, back of the chimney. And I'm proceeding into the loft. I'm just going to pan down so that you can see into the kitchen. It's nice and toasty warm in here with the wood stove. And let me just go right back downstairs so that you can look at the rest of the first floor. He's such a great builder. Okay, let me go this way. So now I'm just entering into the bedroom. So there are two bedrooms. There is a full bath and a half bath. Still continuing with the great framing work from the old barns. Everything is perfectly square. Um, and off, there is, off the bedroom, there is a back entry that also has a sink, a full shower, and also your laundry area. So that is the, um, the cottage. And let's move on to the rest of the property. We've just exited the cabin, or the cottage, I'm sorry. 
And I just wanted to pan up a little so you could see the exterior of the cabin. I'm gonna turn this way so that you can see in the main house on this side, there is an exterior entrance into the second floor studio apartment. That can also be accessed by way of the second floor in the main house. So I'm just gonna come over here. The one thing that you will notice is the craftsmanship is wonderful, but there is still a lot to be done. What, um, this is all prepped. This is the garage area. Uh, this is prepped for garage doors. There is uh, siding that still needs to be, to be completed on the home. The homeowner does have the siding that we need uh, to finish that project. So let's go inside. You can see too from here, uh, the decks need to be completed and the rest of the siding on this side of the house. So let's enter into the garage. We'll go in here now. This is the garage. I'm gonna walk up a couple stairs to the entry. It is all framed in, you'll be able to see that. But as the gentleman was, um, he first built the cottage before he built this home so that uh, he used, utilized this area as his work area. We are also, the studio apartment is above this space, the garage. Okay. We're now going to enter the main home. Um, I'll preface this by saying that the tenant that's currently here with COVID has been house cleaning and packing and organizing. So if you see a lot of boxes, that's why. Um, so as you enter, this is a pretty good size. I'm going to call it the mud room, but you can see it's really good size washer and dryer laundry shoe. As we continue into the main house, the one thing that you're gonna notice, as I said, there's a lot of finish work that needs to be completed. So behind this piano right here, um, it's framed up and ready for a set of French doors. As we move into the kitchen area, I'm just gonna pan here so you can see the stairs going up. I'm gonna walk around here in a circle so that you can see this. The craftsmanship is amazing. The one thing that really needs to be done in order to complete the space is the window framings, um, the wains coating along here, but this is a great alcove in the kitchen area. And I'm gonna pan around here so you can see the kitchen area. It's a really large kitchen. There is also a wood stove in the kitchen area. I hope you can greatly see and appreciate the stonework that has been done with the hardwood floors. I'm going to go this way towards the living room, dining room, but slowly pan around so that you can see the kitchen area where I just came from. Let's keep going here. The one thing that I would like to point out is almost every room in this home has exterior or has an exterior exit. Um, this, the, the owner, prior to there's tenants in this property right now, the owner used this as his living room. Uh, the tenant that's in here now uses it as her dining room and also area to school. Behind that cabinet right there is also a fireplace, which I do have pictures of uh, prior to the tenant moving in and utilizing that space for her cabinet rather than the fireplace. There is one room down here that could be utilized as a bedroom or an office. It does not have its own sole um, closet. They've utilized this big cupboard for their storage. 
You'll also see that this room has French double doors going out. The home consists of very high ceilings. Um, and off that office bedroom is a full bathroom. So there is one full bathroom on this floor, the office slash bedroom, uh, kitchen, living room, dining room. And I'm just going to spin here so that you can see we made a complete circle. And right across from the bathroom is the door that will take us down to the basement. Nice. Okay, we're going to walk downstairs to the basement. This is a fully poured basement. I know that you see block right now, but that's an interior wall. Um, I'm just walking down the stairs here. Uh, the seller slash builder of the property is very efficient in his work and you will see that he has redundant heating systems um, it's really an amazing property you'll see here everything that you need for the well right now we are facing the wall um, that is the garage wall i'm going to spin around here you will see that there are two fuel tanks um, on the property just to make sure we don't run out of fuel which we don't um, the system is completely hot water baseboard with radiant heat in the floor so your flooring is always warm you can see that it's a great poured foundation with high ceilings the radiant heating in the um, in the ceiling here but the floor up above for the first floor Depending on the price of fuel versus the price of wood, this is an exterior exit right here into the basement. So the homeowner will utilize this whole area right here for storage of wood because he does utilize not only fuel oil, but also a wood burning furnace. So depending on the price of wood versus the price of fuel oil, he chooses which he prefers to heat with. The hot water tank is an electric hot water tank. We also have a root cellar here. That's what I would call it, a root cellar. Um, and then I'm just walking right around in a circle. There's also this um, wood, I believe, slash coal furnace from Troy, New York. It's a Trojan. And then over here, you can continue to see the poured walls, the electrical service, and then we just made a complete circle. All right. We're now gonna go up to the first floor. I'm standing in the back entry laundry way, just to give you an idea, Looking, that's looking back into the kitchen. I am going to turn and go up the hardwood stairs. As you can see, it's another gradual turn going up rather than having a specific landing. At the top of the stairs, I'm gonna to turn to the left. You'll be able to see there are two fairly large bedrooms and a full bath. We're still in the hallway. This is the young lady who's a tenant here this is her room again high ceilings i'm going to turn this way so that you can see there's the entry door and her closet as i had previously said each room does have an exterior exit uh, the landings on the second floor for all the exterior exits are framed or level but the, um, there are no balconies that have been constructed yet. As I said before, there is work that needs to be done to the property to give it that finishing touch, such as wainscoting, door frames, completing the decks outside, and also the balconies. You'll see when we enter the young gentleman room, room that's a tenant here there is another exterior door and this is his room they pretty much mirror each other 
Let me see if I can give you a view outside of the mountains and just how beautiful it is. All right, let's leave this room. And there is another full bath up here that is closer to these two rooms. You can see there's a complete bathroom here, everything with high ceilings. Okay, you'll see that's where we just came up. Now, as I had previously said, there is uh, a second floor studio apartment here. Presently, the um, this door is not utilized, but that is the door to get into the second floor studio apartment. So you can either enter from the exterior or interiorly on the second floor. Again, another set of French doors. And we're now gonna turn and go into the master bedroom. Continued high ceilings. One more exterior door, whoops, sorry about that. And there is a unique area here with a great view towards the southern exposure of the property. There is a tub in the master bedroom. Um, I'm gonna turn here. I'll just give you a look out the window that's facing to the south, which is all lawn. I'm gonna turn so you can see the rest of the room. This room too also has a fireplace. We're looking back towards the main second floor landing. But also, in addition to having a tub in this room, a cloth foot tub, it also comes with a large walk-in closet that continues into another full bathroom and on suite for the master. I'm just gonna turn. So last but not least, I'm going to give you a tour of the outdoor grounds. This is the driveway coming in. There is a large barn right down there, which I will walk down so that you can see. I just wanted to pan. When you come up into the driveway, there is a shed here, primarily utilized as a wood shed. You will see the lawn there for the cottage that we had looked at. It is a driveway that goes around. Presently, the owner, uh, seller, lives in the cottage and he rents out the studio apartment, which is the right there to the right above the garage, and the rest of the house he rents to a family of four as his tenants. I'm going to just walk so you can see the property. As you look, you will notice that there is still siding to be completed on the main house. There is also the decks that need to be completed, but just look at the workmanship of the chimney and the detail on the siding. The owner still has, um, I believe, enough siding to complete the project. He does not have the lumber for the decking. Just panning so that you can see there's a large front yard. It's snowing. There's a large front yard and I'm going to turn here and try and back away so that you can see enough of the main house. Presently the third floor up top is utilized as storage and an attic that could definitely be completed. It's a beautiful area up there adding more to the property. And so I'm just going to come around so that you can hopefully get an idea of the exterior of the home. Let me just go this way. I just want to walk around the outside of the property so you can see. There is more decks over here that need to be completed. Right now we are on the left with those double doors, the French doors that are, those are the doors that were into the dining room slash living room. The little jet out here is where in the kitchen, the nook area. And I'm just gonna come around this way. So hopefully you can see there's another side lawn. 
and I don't want, I'm gonna walk a little quick. I don't want you to get motion sickness. Because I want to be able to walk over to so that you can see the barn and the front yard. So I'm gonna go straight here. You'll see that it's a rather large front yard. The whole property sits on 5.74 acres. The house that you see in the background that's being constructed is being built by this owner slash seller. He would be your next door neighbor. He is working on his new home. That's his new home. And here is more of the property. This was a very large vegetable garden, but the owner has chosen to make it smaller. And then the last uh, that I'd like to show you is his pole, well, I don't wanna say pole bar. It is built, it is framed up from previous barns that he has taken down. He has reclaimed the lumber. Um, he has gardens over here. You can see the flowers. There is a greenhouse right there on the side, or a, I should say a potting shed. As we come up to the property here, I won't keep you a lot about a garage, but sliding doors. And you can see the craftsmanship continues into this garage. He is wonderful at reclaiming and reutilizing wood. It is all a poured floor. This steps down into a potting area. This goes upstairs to a loft. And in the back here, at one point there were two horses that had a stable out back here. I'm sorry, that's kind of dark. But just know there was enough um, room for two horses. And I'm not going to take you up, but it's a huge area. There is a loft area up above us the size of this whole building. I'm just going to go back outside. And I am just going to say thank you. Thank you for viewing this beautiful property. Um, I hope that this entices you to come and take a look for yourself. And I thank you. Have a great day.